All right, everyone, here we go. Let's do a mid-month check-in here. It's an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. I got a pre-shuffle. I'm asking the universe between now and the end of the month, you know, which I'm not a fucking time lord, so it could drift into April. But um, <clears throat> what actions are the any attached energies to you going to take? So let's take a look. Let's just do it. I'm going in completely blind here. You know all the readings that have led up to this. You guys know what they are. and I know what the energy is. Let's just see what the energy tells us, all right? It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Definitely. All right? No, no one's ever crossed my path in life. It's very weird without some reason. It benefits me, too. It's always two-way. Um... The reading is timeless. Like I said, you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm going to use a word here that often gets me in trouble. Admiration. Hmm. In the, that's you, Queen of Pentacles, right there. You're showing up in the surface energy. right? They're showing up, too. I've got someone here. It's crossed by the moon. In, in your shadow, energetically speaking. They're in your shadow. right? A little bit. I don't want to say there's fear here, just in your shadow, okay? And really, again, the urge to come toward with the Knight of Cups, very strong. But someone doesn't want to admit it. The Knight of Wands, that Burger King energy. Always somebody that can't take responsibility for the things that they feel or the things they did, shifting blame, that kind of thing. It's very indicative of the DM side, okay? Um, just don't want to admit that they like that energy but they do. And there's a lot of regret for not giving to it. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay? It's about someone who feels they, they missed out. They missed out on some kind of opportunity. They're right there. I mean, right there. I, I, I should tell you, turn around real quick. You probably see the damn person. The energy is right there. But this often happens. Before you get on me about admiration, oh, my person doesn't admire me, all that kind of stuff. This is the way lower vibrational energies often react to higher vibrational energies. And it's playing out the way it is here with the Knight of Cups and the surface energy because this is an energy that should, if they'd made better decisions, be on your energetic level. Okay? So, it's sort of like someone who doesn't want to admit that they need you or that they admire you or that they like you. Yeah, it's there. But they don't want to admit it. They're just there. Okay? They're just the energy is very close. Could it result in communication? Yes, it could. Could it result in the energy just staying around you and somebody dreaming a lot and that's about it, spying? Yes, it could. I don't know. We're asking the universe to pull on the majority here. Let's see what it wants to tell us. Like I said, let's just let the energy take us for a ride, okay? Here we go. First card outs before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? That was just the surface energy. It was just me talking to the universe, right? Nine of wands. Nine's of the end in tarot. It's that kind of energy. It, there's not much left of the wall. There's a separation between you and a new soulmate or a runner soulmate or both. There's something here. But there's not much. Somebody's sort of peering around the wall. We're here because of the nine wands. We're here because the wall hasn't been maintained. Somebody's losing their battle with not admitting that they'd like to maybe, you know, that they missed out on something. Or they are missing out on something by not coming towards, by not being that Knight of Cups. What comes after the cut? The Four of Wands, yeah. Um, we're getting very close. I mean, the, their energy is right on top of you. And I've got somebody here, there's not much stopping them with that Nine of Wands. Not much stopping them from walking a new path. From two soulmates coming together and walking a path toward Ten Pentacles. They know that you're that path. That's part of where the admiration energy ties in. And maybe that's the wrong word because it seems to piss people off when I say, my person doesn't admire me. Why, why can't somebody admire you? People admire you for all sorts of different reasons, right? I mean, it, it's, it just feels that way. I translate feelings into words. So that's just the way it feels. How it plays out, yeah, they probably, probably doesn't look like they do. I imagine so. It's not, it, most of the time in life, if somebody admires you, they're going to pretend that they don't. Most of the time. Or it's going to play out the opposite, right? It's just the way it is. It's just the way people are. Societal energies right now, in general, very king of wands, right? My way or the highway. Very, very king of wands. Uh, it's not my fault. Someone else did it. Very king of wands, right? All over the place. 
it's just the way people are it's just human nature but I like that will it result in communication well that knight of cups is a boy they'd love to do that they were they, they really I felt a lot of emptiness around that five of Pentacles in the pre shuffle let's see there's not much left of that wall I could kick that down and I'm not a particularly big guy if I could kick the wall down anybody can probably you know I mean what's going on here what's going on give me a reading universe middle of fucking March what do we got I wish I could title it that way YouTube's AI would probably get on the middle of fucking March you know, yeah, that would be more Steve's Love Tarot than second half of the month, but whatever. Whatever. Censorship, right? Ten Swords. Overall energy of the reading is Ten Swords. Ten Swords, the overall energy of the reading, crosses in my reading. It crosses the Nine of Wands. Okay? So, again, the environment, that there's nothing left of that wall. Somebody here has run out of excuses on some level. What's fueling this? Yeah, see? I'm making this shit up. Look, it's the Empress fueling the Ten Swords. Somebody's run out of excuses. Yeah, you, look, it might be a little crude for some of the new people who don't know me very well, but you get a chance to bang the Empress, you bang the fucking Empress. And somebody here didn't, or if it's a new soulmate, they're making up excuses why not to come towards you, why not to this, and why, they're running out of excuses. This is a very attractive energy, and here in March, feminine energies are up. We've been seeing this card a lot. It's proof. I wrote it in, in my March write-up. There it is. Readings on the flip. Right there on top. Right here. Energy around your connection. Right here. How they're behaving in the 3D. Right here. They're in real life. Right here. Their soul. This is the hidden energy. Message from the universe. Read with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. It's red with the 3D energy. I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards at the end. I'll probably extend it. There's probably a link. Okay? I don't know. Sometimes I, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. I don't know. I'm running out of excuses. I like that. Give me the energy around your connection with whoever this is. Because you're showing up right there. Yeah, the hot priestess. You should be. Turn around real quick. You should be able to see that. I mean, the energy is so fucking close. Look at this. I get that. It, it's a hidden energy, right? It, they're right on top of you. They're banging you right now. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, right, right through your pants. I'm telling you, no, it's, it's right there. We have energy that's been hidden is making its way to the surface, okay? And somebody's hiding a lot of what they feel on one side. Wow, but feminine energies are up. You know, this is a divine feminine energy as well. Wow. Okay. But where, where your energy is attached to this, you've got a hidden energy around you. I'm telling you, it's right there. They're right around you. A lot of admiration, I feel, on that. Probably for the fact that you've grown a lot. And you're not chasing them and all of that. For that King of Wands, they're used to being chased. I think for a lot of you, in the case of the runners and stuff like that, they're used to being chased. You know? Run away, oh, they'll come back, they'll come running, right? Like that emperor we get sitting in the Papa's on chair by himself in the Lightseer deck, right? It's just like, yeah, but nobody's coming, you know? It, and that's sort of the way it is around that Queen of Pentacles where she's not chasing anything. He or she got everything they need. That drives this energy crazy. How they behaving in the 3D? Two of Wands, making plans. Making plans, setting the attention, run out of excuses. Somebody's got their mind, their eye on, on you anyway, on this connection, very much. Um, it's up to them. It's up to their free will. Here's their soul. It bookends. It's red with the high priestess. Death. Yeah, you knew it had to be a major arcana, right? Had to be. It bookends that. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I'd be disappointed if that was like a six of pentacles or something like that. Uh, it's a death card. I mean, it's just, again... Sort of saying the same thing here. We even have a color match, and color is energy. You could read energy by you could read cards without knowing what any card meant. You could just read them by the backgrounds. You'd be reading energy doing that. You'd be closer to what I do than what a card reader does, right? I'm not a card reader. The cards are just pretty pictures for you. Uh, it's transformation. Somebody hears their souls awake. There's a part of them that is dying, and what's dying is their excuse machine. What's dying is the ego here a little bit. And that's sort of what is dying here at the end of, uh, especially with that eclipse we got coming up, which is going to provide a great deal of clarity, you know. Hidden energy, message from the universe, read with hidden energy. <laughs> 
Six of Swords. The universe says slowly but surely they're making, they, they've set the intention. We're at the set the intention stage. Big time. In the right now. In the energy that I'm pulling on. The pool of energy here for the second half of the month for sure. Um, there's more there. We'll wait till we clarify. The universe I think wants to be a little chatty today. Uh, potential final outcome. Red with two wands. Yeah, nine Nine Pentacles, got to do it. It's sort of a got to do it energy. It's a liberation energy. Someone here, what's holding them back maybe is that they figure your energy is reading so high to them, high vibration, that they probably figure you're all right by yourself. You're fine on your own. You're thriving, right? Why would you want them? I've got a crisis of faith somewhere in here with this person. Nobody would, the King of Wands has that all the time, especially when they fall in love, right? I've got a little of that. Will, will this result in communication? I don't know. Somebody's got to do something. So on, as far as the incoming energy goes, it, it's an energy of somebody's got to do something. Mm, they might be setting the intention to liberate themselves from another relationship because of how your connection makes them feel. Again, sort of an energy of they've run out of excuses, right? Like I was talking about. All right. Let's clarify. Let's talk to the witches. Let's do it. High Priestess, why is it here? Tell me about the High Priestess. I like that energy. It's very nice. Tell me about the High Priestess. <laughs> frustrating. Very frustrating. You got an energy very close. Your energy is right now super close. There's no way you're not going to pick up on it. All you got to do is trust your intuition. That's it. And I think we've talked about that in recent readings. You trusting your intuition. Trust your intuition, you will feel it. There's so much heat coming off, the, coming off this energy here. It's, it's, it's a frustration energy. Somebody's held on to it for too long. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to break out. It's sort of like putting water in a paper bag. Okay? You get a paper bag from the grocery store, right? I don't even know if they still give those out. But used to be able to get a paper bag from the grocery store. Imagine filling it with water. It'll hold the water for a little bit of time. A little bit. But if you walk away and come back five minutes later, the water's starting to get all over the floor. The bag soaks through. It's kind of what's happening here. All right? They've held on to the energy for too long. Held on to the feelings for too long. Made, made too many excuses. What's on top? Queen of Swords. Mm. The universe is predicting communication here. Somebody here wants to say something. They got something to say. And the DF side might find out a truth. Might find out that Steve's right. I don't know. Uh, there's a strong communication aspect there. I'm drawing only. I just see portions. The, the cards are just reflecting the energy. They're just mediums for me. I just see the blue. There's some, And with the clouds, there's something they want to clear up. It's eating at them. Yeah, it is. A lot of heat, a lot of frustration there. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Very a lot of it's one of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. It verifies my read on that for communication, in other words. Uh, but also there's an there's a um, sort of like you'd be it's like a devastated energy. Sort of like you'd be devastated. You thought that paper bag was gonna hold the water and now it's all over your nice rug, right? This person here thought they could hold back a deep soul connection. You know, or some kind of soulmate connection in general. If it's a new soulmate, it's still a pretty powerful connection. Probably another deep soulmate. I don't know. Uh, it feels pretty strong to me. We wouldn't get death here in the soul. Red with the high priestess. So if we were to say, Steve, how strong is this connection I have with whoever this is? Well, the, the two cards that represent it are very powerful cards. So both major arcana. So it's pretty strong. This ain't some bang in a bar parking lot. I'll tell you that. Okay? All right. Two of Wands. Setting the attention. They got some ideas in their head. Okay. Fine. Two of Wands. Why is it here? Let's find out. I would say the way I feel this connection on a scale of 1 to 10, it's about a 9.8. That's a pretty powerful connection. Pretty powerful. If I had gotten the world here, I'd bump it to a 12 in a, on a 1 to 10 scale. Why is the uh, two of wands here? But, hmm, I'm not going to confuse things. That'll just confuse people. I'm not going to do that. All right. Just leave it there. Steve, leave it there. Okay. Two of wands. 
two of wands why is it here my inner dialogue comes out did i say that out loud oh shit all right two two swords um is crossing that yeah somebody it, it backs up my read when i pulled the nine of pentacles it feels to me like somebody's got to do more than just make a plan here all right it, they, there's a lot of frustration here too it's sort of like the energy I get off this two of swords. Sometimes we call it a crossroads type energy. I would call it the frustration you feel if you want to feel what I feel. It's the frustration of sitting in traffic when there's somewhere you're excited to go. Okay? And you're like, oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. You're driving along 75 miles an hour. And all of a sudden you look, you see ahead of you. You're like, oh, shit. I'm going, I'm going to be down to zero in about two seconds. You slam on the brakes and that's it. It's done. You know, it's that kind of frustration. I think they got to do something here. They're all out of excuses. All right. For some of you, this is a brand new soul connection. Someone has feelings for you and their energy is getting closer and closer and closer and they're going to need to reveal those feelings. For others of you, it's your runner. You know, it, it, it's just, or for, even for some of you, it's both. What's on top? Seven of Wands. They're very defensive about this. It's what I said in the pre-shuffle about the King of Wands. Don't want to admit it. Don't want to admit it. Just, ah, I can't believe I have to do this. Ah, I can't believe there's traffic. Ah, I want to go there. I can't believe I want to go there. It's just defensiveness. I wish I could say it's rising up in somebody who's fighting. It's defensiveness. It is. I get it. It's all like really frustrating. Frustrating crossing here. Frustrating traffic here. They're getting in their own way. They don't have an excuse. Ah, it's like that. There, I acted out the energy for you. Okay, what's the, the uh, uh, Seven of Wands? Why is it here? Yeah, the Page of Cups. It's, it's building. It, the, the tidal wave. She's just holding a little cup here. They don't know how to handle these emotions any better than this 13-year-old girl here knows how to handle a crush. Right? Door slamming, crying, screaming, writing in journals, listening to loud love songs, breakup songs, Taylor Swift shit. You know, everybody, everybody's broken up with her at least once. You know, uh, it's, they don't know how to handle it, so they get defensive. No, I don't. I don't feel this. Well, you're about to feel it. It's a tidal wave. Behind. You can't stop a tidal wave any more than you could stop all the water in that grocery store bag from leaking out. You can't put emotions in a paper bag. It's just not, and you can't stop a tidal wave. All right. I, again, you could see why they gotta liberate themselves. This is a release, okay, of some kind, but also. On that Two of Swords, that's the other energy that I read toward you where that part of them is thinking, oh, but their energy is so high vibration. I'm sure they're not saying that, but you catch my drift. Their energy is so good. They're that Queen of Pentacles. They got everything they need. You know, they probably don't need me. That excuse isn't going to work anymore either for this energy. All right. Death card. Why is it here? Total, total transformation of the soul. Souls pick clean. You know, if this was a home remodel, we talking about taking it down to the studs and just redoing the whole thing. You know, might as well have not, might as well have just torn the whole thing down at that point. You know, right there. Total, powerful energy here. Uh, and it's nothing they can stop. And I think it has a lot to do with all the energies that have led up to it. It has a lot to do with the eclipse that's coming up, but even more to do with Jupiter and the North Node having semi-sex or se semi-sextile. That's going to be a big one. I'm going to pull on that. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. Death card. But this is nothing to sneeze at here. Oh, fuck me. Are you serious? This energy flows from here to here. Okay, 5D to 3D. Crossing here was two swords. Crossing there is two swords. All that shuffling. Same crossing card. God, this is... It's, it's, the frustration runs down to the soul. I now understand why the Page of Cups is here. Okay? It runs down to the soul. It's, it's somebody here who has to... Before the transformation can, can finish, they have to admit something to themselves. I think they do. I think they do, and that explains these energies and that defensiveness. What's on top? Yep, the Queen of Cups. Somebody's got to admit that their, that their life, the way they've been living, who they've, the other people they've led in their soul, my desert queen, has left their cup 
empty. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to admit that. Why is the Queen of Cups here? There's a loneliness around that. Somebody wants love, right? Somebody wants love. Why is the Queen of Cups here? And they don't have it. The five, winter, the five of pentacles, proof that this is my desert queen right there. It's very dry in winter. It's like a desert, right? All the leaves are off the trees. It's, in this case, it's cold. It's just, it's just a cold energy. It's freezing, you know? So they have to admit that. They have to. Once they do, the tidal wave washes over little girly here. Little pagey gets gets wet. Now I mean it just the tidal wave just hits her, knocks her right down. No more defensiveness, no more anything. For the moment, until they admit it. There's a lot of opportunities for them to admit it, especially around that eclipse. Why is the uh six of swords here? And I think something like that came up in a recent reading where they're admitting things and all of that. I believe it. I believe it. As the energy flows, I don't think they have a choice. They want they need to liberate themselves from this. It's a lot of tension here, right? Well, Six of Swords. I think the universe is chatty here. Don't don't let this card fool you. It's a, it's the third slowest energy of the tarot. It's somebody here again. It just means that they're getting closer and closer as we progress through the month. Okay, the energies are getting closer and closer. I don't personally know how they could get much closer. Um, it's my guy in a canoe. Again, so again, it's it's slowly but surely. Somebody's got something they want to say strongly, aspecting communication there. These are all read together. So, why is the Six of Swords here? Why? Oh, God. Okay. It's one of those shuffles. Oh, yeah, the Page of Swords. So, two things. One, they don't know, well, three things. One, they don't know what they want to say. Um, it's sort of like somebody... <laughs> It's kind of funny, but it's sort of like somebody wants to tell... It's very immature energy, okay? Sort of like somebody wants to tell you that they love you and they, they come over and they've got this truth they want to reveal, how devastated they are about not about keeping this connection back. And they show up and they start playing with a toy lightsaber and talking about the lightsaber instead of saying any of that shit, Okay. So it's sort of an energy of somebody here is afraid they're going to put their foot in their mouth. At the same time, there's another energy here. It's a very strong spying aspect of the uh, Page of Swords. Very strong. Um, I think there's, it's not the universe kind of adding to what I said. It's not just that their energy is on top of you. In the 3D, they're also taking a look at you. Either through pictures or some creepy folder they have in their computer that's named after you, uh, uh, driving by your house, uh, checking out your social media, all of that is spy. Okay? What's on? They're also very disappointed in themselves. That's a milder energy attached to it, but it's there. What's on top? Mm, the moon. There's the moon again. Proof of what I said in the pre-shuffle. It's the same thing. Somebody's hidden something, hidden a truth from you for a long time, though. Somebody, I think you already know what the truth is. Even if this is a new soulmate who hasn't told you how they feel, you can tell, using it as an example, just as just an example, you can tell if someone who's supposed to be your friend wants to bang you and has the hots for you. You can just tell, unless you're completely shit stupid. They touch you too much, they like, they rub your arm, they always, you know, they sit a little closer than they should. There's always a sign, you know. Either way, um, Somebody's afraid of the truth, afraid of saying the truth because it might come out wrong. So they might just show up and play with a lightsaber rather than say what they need to say. It's possible. The universe is saying that. But I think the energy itself, the reason the slow energy is here, I think the energy itself is slowing itself down to give this person or to, or to give this side time to process, okay, a little bit, which ups the chances of some actual truth coming out. Why is the moon here? Knight of Wands. It's what I just said. That's what the universe wanted to tell you. It's like the universe right now playing the role of the universe is me. The universe is like, I'm slowing the energy down right now because otherwise this person's going to come in all rash and stupid and start talking about their toy lightsaber instead of the feelings that they have and the devastation that they feel. Right? So, somebody here 
is being prevented. The incoming energies are being in some way prevented from doing something impulsive and stupid. Okay, so it works to your advantage on some level. Does slow things down though, okay? Which is why the slow energy is here, like I said already. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody got to liberate themselves from this. Somebody got to. Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to say, what's this Nine of Pentacles mean for my viewer? Just my one viewer, right? Viewer. Singular. What's this Nine, nine of Pentacles mean for my viewers? What's it mean? Is this communication? Is this somebody breaking up with their spouse but not communicating with the... With, with, I don't know. What is it? Are they just afraid? Give me the majority universe like you always do. Just give me the majority. What we get here? Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm never, I never make friends when I do this. It's crossed by the Seven of Cups. As yet unknown. It plays out differently. The environmental energy says it scatters. It's like a scatter gun, right? Which is basically a, a birdshot gun with a wide barrel at the end so it spreads the birdshot way out. Right? It's like, it's like that. I mean, they, those BBs land everywhere. All different directions. So it plays out differently for all of you. And I would hope you'd appreciate my honesty on that and me not just making up shit. That came up in a recent extended, too. We had a similar type of energy. All right. So, but I'm, I asked for the majority. So I have a feeling that's what I'm going to get. What's on top? The magician. Smoke and mirrors. It does result in communication, but somebody's very defensive about it. It's a smoke and mirrors thing, which when I read the magician as smoke and mirrors, it means it's reversed sort of a thing. It's a bit of a trickster energy. Somebody's, the likelihood of communication is high, but it's from somebody who's a little bit defensive. It's like what we said over here, a little bit, although they're getting slowed down, being prevented from doing something impulsive. This is nice. Okay. Also, there's another energy here of somebody transforming, changing, making a lot of changes to their life based on their feelings for this connection. Okay. So, you know, and that's been happening over time quite a while. Why is the magician here? The hermit. Somebody's very much changed. Somebody has very much. Um, mm, the main excuse, how do I phrase this without pissing off too many people? Uh, the main excuse that they're making is they, they think that the, they don't want to admit that the feelings are coming from their soul. They just, they, it, it's more comfortable for these energies on the DM side to see this as a, as a crush or something really superficial, like some, someone you just want to bang. Wow, that's a hot ass. I'd want to hit that. It's, so that's sort of how it comes out. For them, they don't want to admit. They want to, you know, psh, smoke and mirror it away that this is actually a soul connection. So you do have a chance for communication here, but it's somebody who's very defensive about the feelings and may just be treating them as though there's something very superficial, even though they feel it deep down. There's a whole lot of that denying, shifting blame, shifting energy sort of thing going on. That's all. That's all it says. So there's a high probability of communication, but now you know what type of communication. So, yeah. so let's pull three cards and a crossing card from the universe, and let's ask the universe what you should do about that. How do you diffuse that? Hmm? Okay, let's find out. Let's ask a specific question. We very rarely do this. Usually I just leave it open, but let's ask a specific question. So how does the DF side deal with this? You do have somebody coming towards you, for sure. It's a soul connection, but they don't want to admit that. That's hard for them. It's easier for them to look at it as a bang in a bar parking lot. And that's fine. I, it, they don't really believe that. You know, it's just easier for them to come forward if that's what they think it is. And if you think about the fact that they're reflecting as King of Wands, the Burger King, got to have it their way, you know, ego, high ego, all that stuff. Well, it, it makes sense. But they are compelled to come towards. So that's good. It's sort of like somebody trying to be cool and tell themselves, I don't care if they say yes or no, but in reality they do. They are. They shouldn't have expectations for the outcome, but they do. But they have to convince themselves that they don't, which is just surface energy, right? It's just surface energy. Sort of like those people that do affirmations in the mirror. I'm great. I'm terrific. 
I'm fantastic. I'm worth it. Right? That kind of thing. That's fine. But some of them that do that are just doing lip service. They don't really believe it in the soul, so it doesn't stick. And then they're, and that's where it can get dangerous because their little bubble pops when the real world pops it. And then they're in a deeper depression than they were before they started telling themselves in the mirror how great they were. Tell, telling yourself you're great in the mirror is fine as long as it's coming from the soul and not just lip service. Got a little lip service here about your connection. Okay, so what should you do about it? Well, the cards are chatty. That's for sure. You came back after all that shuffling. The universe is like, Steve, the answer's under the Empress. Okay, I'll look under the Empress. All right. That sounds fun, kind of. I don't know. Empress, three of wands, ace of pentacles, and a ten of wands crossing the three of wands. Well... Patience, I know. I'm not going to make any friends here. Do nothing. Do nothing and accomplish a lot. It's actually a principle of the universe. You know, the, uh, uh, it's popular well, It's popular with a lot of religions. popular with the Hindus in particular. Uh, off the top of my head. Do, do very little and get a lot back. Kind of a thing. Just really, honestly, just don't call them on the shit. Don't call them on the whatever. Just do nothing. This, this dam is about to break. If you want a new beginning, you got to move at the pace of the other person, even though you're the empress, right? So you're getting this information so you know in advance that somebody's smoking mirroring you for reasons I've already explained and I won't explain again. That being said, if you, you got to move at their speed. This is grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. If you want it, that's what you got to do, even though it's a pain in the ass. There is a dam about to break here. You, you, don't, you won't have to wait long. Grandma's already almost at the destination. But your best play, according to the cards, according to the energy, is to move at their speed. So if somebody tells you, wants to come and talk about their lightsaber instead of telling you that they love you, how does this play out? You say, oh, I love that. That's wonderful. It's a green one. Which character had a green one? You pretend you're fucking interested in Star Wars. Which character had the green one? I don't remember that. That's all. That's moving at their pace. That puts them at ease. And that's when things can start to move forward. Whether this is a new soulmate or the runner, you got to move at their pace. The good news is grandma's almost at the destination, even though she's been going 15 miles an hour. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. Because now I do. I love getting a magician here. I love that. I'm just going to pull a very casual extended. Very laid back like we're all in my living room. I'm just going to pull a bunch of side reads on all kinds of shit energies that are here. And we'll see what we get. Alright, we'll pull on this. We'll see how they feel about you. We'll just pull a bunch of side reads and see where we go. It'll, it'll be fun. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Alright, good luck.